Welcome back. Obviously, we were talking about uh, the president's various legal issues, yet we have this new poll out this morning, ABC. And Sarah Fagan, I'm curious of your thoughts on it, because it has Donald Trump, uh, who did a better job handling the economy, Donald Trump, 54%, Joe Biden, 36%. There was one-fourth of voters who would like to see Trump prosecuted Mm -hmm. for various crimes, think he should be prosecuted, who were picking Trump over Biden. Mm -hmm. Um, Does it make impossible to knock Trump out out of the nomination? Well, I don't think it's impossible to knock him out. I mean, you've got to remember, it's it's going to be a long process. And, you know, what happens in Iowa, what happens in New Hampshire, South Carolina, that's going to be very consequential. And even if a candidate, you know, is expected to get 10 percent and gets 15, it becomes a week of great press for that person. And the, the dynamic can change. I do think it's going to be difficult to beat Donald Trump, don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. But if you really analyze polling and you ask the question about four different ways, Trump's hard, hard, hard support is about 14 percent. It's not 40. You've got a bunch of people who are for him today that are open to other people. And that's the path that these folks have to put together. The alarm bell that ought to go off, though, at the White House is that economic number. I mean, if this election is not about abortion rights... They're in trouble. It's going to be about economy. And I actually think it's going to be about economy and education. I think that a lot of parents right now are seeing that their kids are way far behind. They're saying, who's talking to me about education? The Republicans are. And I do think that the economy, as we see it, there might be uh, inflationary pressures that are going to come. I mean, everybody keeps saying, but it looks like this actually might happen. I think one of the challenges for the Biden administration, though, is to remind the American people who got them out of, mm. the, uh, out of the pandemic and the real checks. One of the things that we found at Voto Latino was when people supported Donald Trump, it was because they believed that he literally gave them the checks that he signed. Mm. And I think it's giving this understanding of the American people that it's far more complex and who actually got us out of an incredible pandemic. Garrett, I heard Akeem Jeffries not make an economic argument. No. I, I mean, mm-hmm. he immediately, well, there's abortion rights, there's mm-hmm. a democracy, like... It, it reminded me of the, the Bush 04 days. Hey, this is going to be a choice, not a referendum. Well, look at the Biden announcement video. I mean, it was a lot of, like, January 6th and freedom and kind of the same thing that they were trying to run on in 2022, disqualifying Republicans. Biden's going to make that argument against Trump, in part because none of the Republicans are doing it. I mean, they've all hugged him on the January 6th issue. But, yeah, I mean, I think the less they can be talking about inflation and the price of eggs or what your mortgage rate's going to be, and the more you can be talking about, look what the other guy's up to, I think that's the play for, for Democrats. You know, Mark Leibovich, I want to play something here from Trump's definition in this defamation trial, because in many ways, it is a throwback to 2016. Mm. And I'll explain after it. Take a listen. I don't even know who the woman, let's see, I don't know who, it's Marla. You say Marla's in this photo? That's Marla, yeah. That's, that's my wife. Which woman are you pointing to? No. That's Here. Carol. Oh, is that, the person oh, okay. you just pointed to was oh, Eugene Carroll. Who is that? Who is this? Point, your wife. And the person, the woman on the right is your then wife, I don't Ivana? know. This was the picture. Ivana. I assume that's John Johnson. Is that that's Carol? Carol? Because it's very blurry. Does it matter, right? Access Hollywood tape didn't matter. Does this stuff matter? N- not among... Trump's heart. I mean, look, no. I mean, look, history would tell us not really. It doesn't move the needle. His supporters are his supporters. They're not going to, uh, they're not watching this, first of all, and making any new determinations. Uh, I was a little bit more surprised that this didn't get more pickup just because it was, I mean, the rest of the video. Donald Trump under oath. You don't get to see that very often. Right. I mean, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, you're not, this is not a great setup for him. I mean, Bill Clinton can attest to that. But I right. think, look, I mean, it's, it's not, I mean, history shows that this is not going to be something that, that takes Trump supporters away from him. Sarah Fagan, the Trump folks have been pushing around this commentary that said it's 2016 again. It's 2016 again. And they are almost embracing it. Hey, we're the outsider. We're not mm-hmm. the insider. Can they pull that off? Well, uh, I don't think they can pull it off. I mean, he's the incumbent party leader. But uh, what... I think is going to help him is that, you know, oddly, this calendar of trials appears to be sort of shaping up to have some verdict or some ruling every two months, and he gets a sympathy bounce from it. And and I had one person from a 
So it's bizarre. From a rival campaign, say the calendar isn't working to our favor to well, to make the you know. But the, the rival and, isn't that about the right, vote? This is what drives me nuts, though, because right. the rival campaigns could choose to go the other way on this. Every other Republican, <clears throat> theoretical primary candidate or actual primary candidate, has hugged Trump in the yeah. face of all these controversies. I don't, I don't think that's. And, and I don't think that's. They fair. could come out and say, "Look, this yeah, guy's yeah. being incredibly accused of rape in this case. He's being charged in Manhattan. Who knows what he's going to be charged with for January 6th? And right. instead, they." Have embraced him so as not to turn his voters the off. The base of the choice. Republican Party but, believes this is all made up. Yes, every they do, one of but these. But I also right. do not subscribe right. to the idea that 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 this is just a godsend to Donald Trump right. prosecution's yeah. I, I, verdict. I, I, At I some that, point, yep. Yeah. I, the only thing, the reason I don't think it's 2016 is that the majority of American people remember what his presidency was like, and they want a timeout. Well, we're all going to find out together. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.